I had been going to Planned Parenthood um, probably since I was about 17 years old to get reproductive health care. Living in the South, there was I had a very different experience. Um, specifically, I would say around the silence on reproductive health care. Um, and then also to like what was actually available and accessible. I've had two abortions. Um, one was in um, they were in two different states and they were two very different experiences. Um, you know, and I, I would say like the biggest thing I just wish people knew about it is um, the diversity of experiences um, that bring um, women and other pregnant folks to abortion. Deciding to get an abortion was not the hard part, right? Um, the hard part was sometimes the access. The hard, the hard part was sometimes the context that brought me to that. Um, you know, I, I, I feel that, again, if people sort of just knew sort of what goes into that decision-making process and also like what an abortion actually looks like, um, I, I think they might have a very different opinion of what it actually is. There has been so much stigma and shame around the issue. I mean, I frankly did not talk about having abortions until I was probably in my mid-30s. Um, you know, I did not tell anyone in my life at the time. I went and um, accessed that all by myself um, just because I felt like it wasn't really something you talked about. And even though I was doing um, you know, volunteering for reproductive health care and access, like it was still something I just did not feel like I could talk about because um, I didn't know how to. If this is an incredibly common experience. This is an incredibly safe experience. And I think by just naming that, it takes away some of the stigma. This is often coded as a women's issue. Um, and I feel strongly that if you were a man, um, who has had a partner or a loved one in your life who has experienced abortion, like we also need you in this fight because this impacts you too. I think we should be allowed to feel however we want, whether that is rage or grief or anxiety, or you know, if you just need to numb out. But I, I, I do think that in this moment, we have to figure out ways to take care of each other. This is just the beginning, right? Um, and now is the time to show up and speak out and do more and do whatever you can.